At last, Dale came home to Rain's villa. After four years of living alone because of his fatal accident from a brawling incident with his friends that turned violent which blinded and paralyzed him temporarily. I'm so glad you already made up your mind to work with me. I promise you you'll like your job as the company's COO. As Chief Operations Officer, you would assist me in all of my duties and responsibilities, which I divided for both of us to work on, but you still need my approval to any decisions you might have with regards to your position as COO. No problem bro, I'll prove to you that you are not mistaken of having me in the company. I'll begin on Monday, yeah? Meanwhile, Ingrid was so excited to be moving out to their new home. Oh, Ariane, at last we won't be staying for long in our crampy rooms. At least, we can move about freely. So that afternoon, both celebrated their happy moments of living together in a new place both dreamed of residing in, a truly place to call their very own home. Tell me, Ariane, why did Mr. Blue Eyes help you moving in here? What's the catch, huh? Well, I wanted to be with my sister and to do that, I told him to swap places with Uncle Tom's secretary to get closer with Monica but he resented the idea so he said that he talked to Uncle Tom to change Monique's off days to Sunday and Monday. At least, I have the entire Sunday with her. Then on Monday evenings if time would permit, I'll do my best to get closer and befriend my sister until I get her trust in me. What are sisters for? I must win her back, and I know how. Wow, you really made him spin, huh? I think there's something cooking in here, darling. He likes you, and he's doing good in spoiling you. I know you like him, too. Don't deny that. He was your crush since high school. Indeed he was, and I thought it died down when Monica had him as her boyfriend. And until now, I had a feeling he still loved Monica. He wouldn't go all his way to protect and care for her welfare if he doesn't care anymore even if he denies it. I don't think I could have a better chance for him to like me. Maybe he's making a good impression to me for Monica. I think he sees me only as his future sister-in-law. Monday morning came and the entire corporate offices and the employees were gathered in the auditorium to welcome Dale Morrison as the corporation's new COO. Rain introduced his brother and both shook hands while everyone gave a warm heartfelt welcome to Dale. After the meeting with the new COO, Rain and Dale returned to their offices, and there he took a glimpse of Arian sitting behind her laptop. Well, this must be our secretary, if I am not mistaken, commented Dale. Yeah, she is Arianne. She'll be working for both of us. Rainy said. Dale extended his hand to Arianne. As they shook hands, Dale stared at Arian closely, then said surprisingly, You look familiar, have we met? Yes, Dale, we knew each other. Then Arianne wore her eyeglasses and said with a happy smile, I'm Arianne Hicks. Who are the ugly duckling I used to make her cry? Is that you now? Yes, Arianne looked away annoyed by Dale's remark. The speckled, freckled girl, you love making her cry. Arianne retorted, Ha! Huh, imagine, I never dreamed once that we'll meet again. But look at you, the ugly duckling turned into a beautiful swan. Dale blurted. Rainy got annoyed at the way their conversation was going. Dale. Stop it, will you? Ari Ann is not just a secretary here. She is my assistant. Give her due respect. Did I say something wrong? But it was true. From an ugly speckled freckled girl to... Rainy got annoyed at Dale's comment that he held Arianne and said, Stop it Dale, this is your first day with us and you already created a nuance between you and Arianne. How could you work well together? Arianne was so annoyed and felt humiliated with Dale's unbecoming attitude towards her. Will Arianne insist her former request to Rain for a transfer of workplace? How will Rain confront these to crashing rocks, putting him in a tight spot? Part 30 follows.